So a new year, a new guide. That's right, the wheel never stops, and while I'm a little late to the party, Quan Chi is plotting up a storm. So with this guide, we are busting out the head wax, stealing my girlfriend's makeup, and showing what this second half of the Deadly Alliance can really do. Probably. But before we do, don't forget to help support the channel by giving us a like, comment, share, subscribe, woo-laying the bell thingy, and following us on all the social medias for all your techly needs. Now with that said, I am Tech, and this is my guide to being the best Quan Chi player you can possibly be. Probably. A zoner. Quan Chi utilizes a powerful poke and a variation of bullet hell to control the space between him and his opponent. This is aided through his unique mechanic and buff, I'm dubbing the zone. So by pressing down back three, Quan Chi will create his zone of power, a buff that has spanned throughout the modern era. This zone can be moved around by holding down three and moving left to right. However, you will need to be holding block so that Quan Chi stays in place. Otherwise, he's going to get into some trouble. But tech, you national treasure, what does it actually do? And to that I say, oh, you guys. And what it do is one of two things. First, when enhanced, it becomes the zone of fear and repels the opponent from that zone, making it harder for them to poke you out. But more importantly, the zone of power itself alters your projectile properties, transforming how you play the character. Hell, the startup is also pretty quick, so this can easily be set up, and with the right cameo combinations, you can get some fur damage and have the zone out for some zony goodness. See what I did? Zone and zony? <laughs> Who needs to pay for writers? One of those being Head Rush, Quan Chi's iconic projectile stemming all the way from MK4. This sends a skull full screen to the opponent. Varying levels of block safety, the further you are, the safer you are, and when in the zone, will send three skulls out in varying screen cover. Think Shang's enhanced skull. When enhanced, the skull becomes giant, and waka wakas all the way to the opponent with different paces, slow, normal, and fast, based off the away, standing, and forward inputs, respectively. When you're in the zone, this big skull on hit will teleport the opponent either to Quan Chi for combos or full screen for zoning, depending on your input. The latter we care less about as we have more than enough ways to get the opponent full screen. What's more, head rush can also be done in the air sending a skull diagonally to the opponent. Again, varying levels of block safety, but this time you're always negative. When in the zone, it becomes just a simple purple version of the skull, which sucks as three skulls diagonally would have been, you know, no real improvement in the grand scheme of things, but hey, it is what it is. And just like its ground counterpart, when enhanced, becomes the giant Pac-Man, and has the same boons as the ground counterpart, zone properties and all. But let's talk the moves. So, for key normals, we start with Tamed Impaler off the standing 1 2 2, a neutral on block string that creates space between you and your opponent. But it's the initial 1 2 string, Dangerous Ally, that is important here. Both hits are special cancelable, and where the initial one is in danger from micro ducks, as all highs are in this game, it is again neutral on block, while that mid two is very much safe. Really, it's an okay extension string, but an annoying opener, as sadly there is an armorable gap there. One I don't really agree with, but I can understand as I say stay tuned to the special and cameo sections, where we show off why it's such a good move, and why that gap is needed, for now at least. Now that initial standing one also has a three follow-up, in the overhead skewer strike, as while the overhead is just safe on block, 
on hit, it pops the opponent up for combos. This move can be both starter and extender, but can also act as a 50-50 mix-up. Not a great one, but there's potential there that we can talk more as we get deeper into the move pool. The standing 2-1 string, Soul Extinguisher, is a simple high mid string that may once again have a gap, but is special cancelable and very safe on block throughout. This string also branches into a 50-50 option. First the 3 follow up, lowest of blows. This is a non-cancelable load that is safe on block due to the pushback, and on hit, lifts the opponent into the air after taking their legs. This places the opponent near full screen, keeping the space. And it can become more with cameos, but let's hold off until then. The four follow-up, bow already, is a special cancelable overhead that's safe on block and can be followed up further with another four to make close enough. A non-cancelable overhead ender that again, thanks to pushback, is safe on block and on hit knocks them down just outside sweep distance. This can allow for some empty jumps or just jump in options, but no matter what, we have a 50-50 here. We can choose the low and get some distance, or we can go for an overhead and begin a full combo. Sure, it's not the best 50-50 as we have micro ducks and armorable gaps all before we even get there, but still it's one we can utilize, and Bow already is probably one of your better punish tools, so yeah, good strings. Next up is the Away 2 your MK1 patented overhead for the evening. Stupidly long start up and this time, death on block. However, you can keep yourself safe if it lands max distance, unless they have some ranged standing normals. But this move is also special cancelable and can be charged to one, become advantageous on block and two, pop the opponent up for combos on hit. This does need to be fully charged and that charge time is insufferably long. In fact, it's longer than reptiles fully charged, which is super reactable. So yeah, not great, but still it is an overhead combo starter and is something we can work with. His forward two, however, is one of your best strings and enders. Not really by itself, it's only just safe on block, and while the range is good and it's special cancelable, it's actually the full string skeleton jacker that's the real ender. Death on block, but it's the hit that is key here, as it sends the opponent full screen with a lot of recovery time thrown in, even more so if it's done off a juggle. This allows you to finish, say, Skewer Strike with Skellijacker, and now you can pop a portal and be a menace. His standing three is your high-hitting jump cancelable launcher. Just safe on block, and as I said, allows you to jump in for aerial combos. This becomes less possible the greater the gravity gets, so it's better to have this earlier in your combo than later, if you need it at all. Also, it's probably one of the best long-range anti-air moves in the game. Next up, we have Coxix Crusher, off the Away 342, a powerful low to mid launcher that is one of your go-to combo starters. As while the last hit is not special cancelable and because of the way the string works, will completely whiff if you block the initial string taste test, it will leave the opponent in the air long enough on hit to continue on. And while Taste Test is unsafe on block throughout, that initial away three travels a fair distance, and the string is also special cancelable throughout. Plus, this is the final piece to your 50-50 mix-up game. When you are not keeping the opponent at arm's length, you can use the away three's low, the away two's overhead, and your throw to mix the opponent up. This adds a lot to Quan Chi's overall play. Well, anybody with an overhead or low starters play, as the opponent has to react with three options in mind. His penultimate normal is the standing four cunning kick, a button that's deserving of having its name mentioned, 
as it's one of your most annoying attacks in the game. This special cancelable high is majorly death on block, but that's because it can connect anywhere on the screen, and the startup isn't that bad either. This, alongside your projectiles, will aim to keep the opponent where you want them, or allow you to catch them off guard with the right cameo to make something out of it. Its main weakness though is forward momentum. If the opponent chooses to move forward at any point, you will always whiff, and leave yourself in a position unbecoming of a zoner. And lastly, his forward 4 4 string, Pain with Portals, is a double high stomp that on hit will bounce an airborne opponent with the initial 4, which is also special cancelable. Then send the opponent full screen with a book ton of advantage. Think a less damaging skeleton jacker, but easier to land and also safe on block. What's not to like? This is another strong ender if you want to zone. Land it off a juggle, send them full screen, pop the portal, and you have all that space to work with. Thank you for your patience, it's once again time for the jump in lightning round. And we start with jump in one, your strong contender for the er to er option. Special cancelable and has some okay poke range, but it's the two follow up risen rake that's the string to talk about. Yes, it can be extended with another two to send the opponent full screen with brilliant blast, but risen rake has a little floaty hit that links with some cameos bringing the use up. It's also one of the few strings that allows you to land the aerial enhanced head rush, which if you have the portal out, is a good combo extender. Jump in two is your more er to ground option, but it is also special cancelable and branches off into two strings. First, the one follow up double death dealer, or to make things easier, the 3D. Not only is this follow up special cancelable, it will also bounce the opponent off the ground for combos, making it a great extender off your launcher. And key to some of your most valuable combo routes. The four follow up begun is just a simple spike, nothing more, nothing less, we've seen them all before, decent damage and recovery advantage, but won't ever beat the previous two strings on utility. Now onto the specials. Finishing our projectiles, we have Psycho Skull off the down back one. This move has Quan Chi send a skull overhead to hit the opponent. It has varying levels of block safety, but that is because you can choose the range. Away skull lands point blank, normal skull fails to reach starting distance, forward skull covers starting distance, and up skull lands full screen. When enhanced, the skull will home in onto the opponent, and on hit will pop them up for combos, if you are close enough. Now you will only guarantee the enhanced hit of dangerous ally, but we don't really care about that. It's an option, but no, this is one of our zone tools. We use this to control the space, especially when in zone of power, as this move now becomes Psycho Volley and sends three skulls that cover the entire screen range neutral to advantageous on block depending on the distance and when enhanced the furthest skull will act like the homing skull in the regular enhancements. This after a good portal setup can be a pest to get past and alongside your standing for and head rush variants is going to be difficult for the opponent to get in with. But if we want to add more difficulty we can use Field of Bones, MK1's replacement for the trusted trance in the form of a placeable trap with multi levels of range. No matter what, the block frames never change, so while it's still the further you are, the safer you are, it's always based off a negative. However, on hit, it will lock the opponent in place for a decent amount of time. Now, you are also locked in animation, so this is a bit of a moot point, but when enhanced, the cage stays out, trapping the opponent inside, and the only way to get out is to either jump, which you can react to, or teleport out, which not many characters have access to. So yeah, it's not bad, but a Wu Lei, it is not. 
the startup is long and the only string you can combo it off is Dangerous Ally. But even then, because of the animation, they'll be able to block any follow-up you have. But stay tuned for cameos as we have some ways to make this more useful. Now a penultimate move is back forward four, Falling Death, Quan Chi's iconic telestomp. But Quan Chi drops through the floor and stomps from above. Death on block, but that is because the enhanced version is our armor move, the MK equivalent to invincibility. But that's not the move's beauty. No, its beauty is that it tracks to the opponent. So no matter where they are on the screen, Quan Chi goes there. And more importantly, it combos off that pesky standing four. So if you have the opponent full screen looking for a gap in your bullet hell, you land a four, get the teleport, and now you're in a decent spot to go for a mix up, or with the right cameo, set up or extend. His final special is from the fog of the down back four. This nasty low is one of your main enders, decent range and damage, and gives some okay space and recovery. Sadly, it's death on block, but the enhanced version is one of your go-to combo extenders, allowing you some airtime for the aerial combos or to do whatever you want, all for the low, low price of two bars. Why is it two bars? What did Quan Chi do to deserve the- Oh yeah. Seriously though, there are some odd choices with this character that we have to talk about, as overall, Quan Chi is a true menace at range. He has enough in his kit for the opponent to show some respect to his game. The bullet hell can be oppressive in its own right. The kick can be annoying. However, his weaknesses glur the moment we look at his jabs. They're slow slower than any other character, including zoners who get better options and damage than he does. This makes him more or less second best in any form of block interaction. Then it's his combo game. On his own, he has some okay strings, but they are very limited in what you can do. The only real launcher specials are either too slow and need to come off dangerous ally, or cost more meter than it's worth and deal less damage than most simple one bar combos. So for cameos, we will look into those who offer him more combo routes. We'll start things off with Scorpion as he is the cameo you use for your Quan Chi challenge tutorials. His close, medium and far neutral assists all can allow you to set up your portal and finish how you see fit. But the far one also offers you a full combo off your lowest of blow strings. That pop-up allows Scorpion to get in and juggle them for okay damage and setup. And the forward assist grants an overhead option, one that can't combo off the faster overhead of Bao already, but will combo off the initial 2-1. So you have a better 50-50 game off that soul extinguisher string. Then if you need to make some distance, you have the away assist to tank a hit and get into zone range. Just be careful as your back gets closer to the wall. The animation will make you more open to attack. Motaro is another dark horse. Uh, can he even say that? As he grants your field of bones the boon of extension. Motaro and to a lesser extent Kung Lao will teleport you mid animation, freeing you up to gain a bit more damage. However, as Field of Bones only combos off one string, it's not the ultimate pick and while Mataro's forward assist has some great block advantage and the down assist some decent pressure, he's really more of a wild card here. The rest are more focused on extensions. Serena is always a strong option, as her away assist just grants another projectile that has stupid combo potential, along with damage. What's more, it will combo off your bow already string, which now flips the mix up as you have combo potential off that overhead. Sub-Zero and Frost also add 
both extensions and zoning aid. Sub-Zero's neutral assist protects Quan Chi from opposing projectiles, so you can bullet away from a distance and not worry too much about trading for 5 hits. Unless the Reiko. And with the new buff of going into his away assist from that to add pressure up close, you have decent block string setups. But his forward assist, the freeze, grants us our combos, again from the much needed strings. And what's more, the freeze can give us time to portal up and go for a full damage combo. Frost's freeze, however, may not last as long, so can't give us that same setup, but it's a projectile. A low projectile at that, and one that can be used again off the main overhead of Bao already. Then we add the pressure of her away assist and the pushback of her charged neutral, and you're already looking good. But tech, I hear the Shangbangers ask, where's Cyrax? And don't you worry, he's right here. And he comes with a friend, Goro. I'll mention Goro first as he adds to both Shang and Quan Chi games. Shang wise he offers a simple and easy morph combo that can be finished with any of the morphed characters bread and butter ends. Damage is not as good compared to Cyrex but you gain more safety options. Follow the link on the top right to see all of them. Quan Chi wise Goro adds not only coverage and safety but more combo routes, including our little 50-50 options, both the Soul Extinguisher follow-ups and your back too. This will come at the cost of HP, and with Quan Chi being already lacking in that department, will be food for thought. Still, I really like him personally, I've become a very big Goro fan. Cyrex, however, is very strong with Quan Chi, as the Mustard Maker adds setup to his Coxic Crusher bread and butter with the vertical copter, block safety with his horizontal copter, and while his bomber net still could do with a rework, Quan can take advantage of both of them. The net itself off the away assist can actually combo off Dangerous Ally and give you enough time to set up portals and the Cyrex bomb, all while draining a bar of meter off the opponent. So, as a combo, you can do Dangerous Ally into Net, summon your portal, move said portal, summon Cyrax, and while holding the assist button, go for Standing 4 into Skull Volley. If timed right, Cyrax pops the opponent up so we can jump for Risen Rake into Enhanced Skull. As they come down, it's Standing 3 into 3D. Then finish with Pain with Portals to set up another portal, off a 40% combo. And for you Shang Bangers, the Morphocopter is very simple. We just 3D into Stomp. Decent damage, Mwah. Yet Cyrax is not the best option. Nana, as he sadly offers no regular combo routes. No, for the best in my opinion, it's a toss up between Sector and Tremor. Oh yeah, the top two options for Smoke are returning yet again. Sector's neutral assist, the rocket, can cover Quan Chi during zoning. If the opponent gets past your bullet hell, the rocket should keep you covered. It also allows for a full combo off bow already, by timing both the assist and the one input together, and finishing the string with the skull. The flamethrower off the forward assist got a buff, and now becomes a strong safety option off your taste test string, but the away assist, the teleport, is your ultimate tool. While it can't combo off Bao already, it can from Soul Extinguisher and your back too. So you have strong mix-up threats, but also it's as good a zoning tool as any of your projectiles. They're at full screen, you throw a standing four and it connects, you can send Sector out for the uppercut and give yourself time to either close in and catch the midder, or back away and create more space. However, it's Tremor who is my go-to, as what he lacks in Sector's rockets, he makes up for in health and combo variety. Aftermath's up assist is a beautiful combo starter off his most needed strings. Both Aftermath and Metallic's forward assists 
offer neutral to advantageous block strings. And Crystalline is, well, Crystalline. Adding armor to your combo to tank a wake up or power through a string is always good, but it's Tremor's whole variation shift mechanic that adds so much to Quan's game. So remember that standing four into Stomp? Remember how that was all you could do? Well, not under Tremor's watch. You see, if you catch the opponent with the four and go for the Stomp, you can time a shift from Aftershock with the Teleport, then shift back to Aftershock before the final stomp, and go for the away assist. If timed right, Tremor will knock you off the opponent, but keep them stunned long enough for you to continue your combo from there. This means you can net a near 40% combo from full screen, which is enough to linger at the back of anyone's mind. Now, advice wise, I haven't really got much. The main thing I'm going to say is think about your health. As of this vid, he's got jack all. So having just a minuscule of extra health can work wonders. Hence why Tremor was my go to cameo. If you can play lame, this means keep your distance and maintain it. You owe no one any courtesies. If they want the privilege of a close-up fight, they should damn well work for it. Keep that in mind, and you'll show that the real Wu Le are the friends we made along the way. What? And if you want to make friends along the way and keep us going strong, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, Wu Le that bell thingy, and follow us on all the social medias. Also remember, this is a community. So if you have any tips and tricks you found yourself, or just want to tell us who you want to see next, or who your favorite character is, let us know in the comment section below. And finally, tune in next time. But once again, we look at another random fighter. But until that day, this has been Techno Odin. Stay safe, claim skulls, smash bosses, and remember, it's in our blood.